Hello all, got another little video for you this week, it's making split letters in Scan and Cut Canvas. So to start, obviously we need to log into Canvas and start a new project. Just before I get over to actually showing you how to make this, I'm going to bring up a, a couple of versions that I've already done. So as you can see here, I've got two uh, already made and they feature the capital A with a shadow and then also the word Alex fused into them. So we're going to start with a blank canvas. Let's give it a name. I'm calling mine Split A. And now I need to load up some text. Now this text is going to be the uh, big letter, the one in the background, the one with the split through it. Click on the font that you want just once and then click on the text that appears twice to edit. Type in your letter and increase that in size. Now it says it's eight inches tall at the moment, but that's because of the blank space. To get rid of that, I'm gonna click on divide, and that should now give me a clear and accurate size as to which it's going to be, or what it's going to be, sorry. Now I am gonna type in my specific measurement because I wanted this to fit on a six by six card, and I've kept the aspect ratio ticked so that it resizes in proportion. Now let's get on to creating that split. For that I'm going to need a basic shape. I'm going to choose a long thin rectangle. Now I could just use the nodes to um, resize that rectangle however I'm going to accurately type in the measurements to match the width of the capital letter. I've deselected the aspect ratio so that I can actually type in the specific measurements of the strip that I want to knock out or punch out from that A. I'm just roughly aligning it to where I want to be and then vertically I'm going to use the align tool and center to bring those both together so they now fit exactly across. Then going to use the subtract to punch that rectangle out of the capital A. There you go, all done. Now to create the strips that go across the letter. Again, I'm using the properties dialog box to type in the exact measurements that I want this to be. I'm going for quite a thin strip. I'm gonna just roughly again position that where I need it. Then I'm gonna hit the D key to duplicate, drag that again roughly down, and then use my alignment tool to align them on the vertical axis. And then after select the, selecting them all, click on weld and that's going to put them all together. Now we've already created our split letter there but I also want to be able to create something else so I'm just giving this a colour so I can see what's going on on screen. I'm going to use my offset tool, click on that, that will bring up this dialog box and then we are creating here one with just the outline. You can obviously create one with the landlocked areas too by deselecting that box you saw. I'm using my order tool to send this to the back and I'm going to give it a different colour so again you can see what's going on. Already there, almost. Not quite happy with this gap in the centre though so I'm actually going to fill that in just by dragging on a rectangle and roughly resizing it using the nodes. When I'm selecting these though, I'm going to select all of them and align them but then I'm only going to select the two that I want to weld together and then click on weld. There you can see, I've got them all welded together. I'm just gonna go back into the properties dialog box and change that color back and send it to the back so that it almost looks like it's sitting on that shadow. And there we have it, a nice basic version. Don't forget to save your file as you're working so that you don't lose anything as you go along. That's now saved and it's gonna reset the screen back to the mat now. I could log out, log out at this point, however I wanted to also show you how to um, add some text to that central strip. So I'm going back into my text tool, I'm choosing a different font this time, and I'm again using those nodes to resize the text so that it just overlaps the uh, strips on that text area. Double click on the text to edit, type in the word you want, and then using either the mouse or the arrow keys on your keyboard, position that where you need it to be, and then we're going to align along the vertical axis again. And this time I'm using the shift and click 
of the mouse to select just the letter and the text and then using my weld function to put them together. And there we have it. In less than 10 minutes we've created a totally unique and personal split, uh, split monogram letter. Perfect. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to log out and head off and try something else. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or indeed follow me on Twitter. Or Facebook. Thanks for watching.